But they were always asking us, do you guys really wear stuff this tight? And all that's like, <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> well, there's going to be a double vinyl album. Oh, Warner's Records is putting out soundtracks. Not that anybody buys soundtracks anymore, but double vinyl and uh, cassettes, too. I, don't know, so. I, I think the double vinyl has more songs, technically. And that's still not all the songs in the movie. So, yeah, the music was, was really fun. That was... Um, I don't know, just I had like 200 songs I started with, you know, when I was writing and, you know, that era. Because it was a lot like the movie, you know, you, one night, you all these different genres were out there. But at that time, I remember being most excited about kind of like new wave and punk stuff. But, you know, you, you went to the discos, you went to the country bars, you know, that was all kind of culturally kind of happening at one time, at least from where I lived, you know, but... But yeah, music's such a big part of it um, at that age. It was felt like your life was wall-to-wall -wall music. You know, you had the stereo blaring at home, stereo in the car, wherever you arrived, the party or the club, there was music. And it was just a big, a big mix. So it was just fun kind of, uh, you know, going back here and all that. And explaining to the guys, you know, sort of like, well, you don't, because they, they were liking some of the disco. It's like, no, no, you can't technically admit to liking disco. <laughs> you go there for the drink specials and the girls or, you know, whatever takes you to the club, but you can't admit it. But, you know, trust me, 30 years later, you, you actually do like all that music. It's, it, 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 it's aged well, most of it. But at the time, you were more likely to have a disco sucks t-shirt, you know, <laughs> rock and roll, you know, it was, a, it was a weird battle that was going on at that moment, you know. <laughs> 